The spirit of nonviolence necessarily leads to humility. Gandhi from Young India, January 12, 1921. In my personal experience, the way the commitment to nonviolence leads to humility is to enable me to discover how deep and how various are the roots of resentment and fear and individual greed that are buried in, in the mind that I've inherited and that I'm trying to deal with. So ultimately one discovers that one cannot really reach perfect nonviolence by oneself. It requires a force more powerful than we are, which in effect most of the time for most of us will mean resorting to God. And we can only get that to work if we have acknowledged our own helplessness. Swami Ramdas once said that it is important to make our maximum effort, not because that will work, but because it will show us that our maximum is not enough. That's where humility really comes in. And incidentally, when I say Swami Ramdas, I do not mean uh, the American uh, Harvard fellow, Richard Alpert. I mean the uh, Indian Swami Ramdas, who has written about six or seven amazing books about his travels throughout India. He was truly a realized sage, and we have visited his ashram when we were in India. Thank you.